What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hammer Down Motorsports. Today behind me, we have my 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X. And as you guys know, it has the brand new dash, which means we need a brand new place to put my phone because that's my biggest issue with this one. I have no place to put my phone that I can see it. It's sitting down in the cup holder and I really miss the one that I have in my other Jeep, which works absolutely awesome from our good friends over at ProClip USA. So that being said, they hooked us up with their brand new setup for the brand new Jeep. Let's check it out. All right, we got our little unboxing station here in the back. All right, so in the box, we do have our center mount right here. Looks similar in design to the one in our 22. And then we have our phone holder here, which is really nice. When you go on their website, you can actually pick what phone you have and what case you have so they can get the right fit for you. So now let's get this all unpackaged and get this thing installed. All right, so inside of our Jeep, you can see we do have this giant infotainment screen. And one thing about the new Jeeps is all of the Jeeps have this infotainment screen. So this mount will work in any trim level. So what we have here is an adhesive strip over on the back side. So you're gonna wanna remove that film and they do provide you with an alcohol pad so you can go and just kind of clean that area before you install it. Make sure you have good adhesion. But the basics of it is, it's gonna hook onto the back side of, or I guess the front of the dash and then you're gonna pull it over this lip and everything will fit very very nicely so the way I've done this on my other Jeep is I just kind of set this in place so I'm not dragging it over this corner of the dash and you can just push down in the middle of it and it'll snap in place on the front of the dash I guess we're gonna see how that's gonna work with this one I think it should be exactly the same way and you want to make sure you have enough clearance for your actual mount for your screen so you have everything where you want it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take the screws that come with this and we're going to mount our phone holder to the mount so I know I have enough clearance with my screen and all those good things before we get everything in place. So here we have our assembly all put together. Very simple, there's four screws that come with the kit and then you have to remove these two screws to get this part off just so you can get in there and get your mounting screws attached to our center mount with our phone mount. And with this, you do have a little bit of articulation and you can turn your phone sideways if you have enough room from where you mount it, which is why we wanna mock things up here first, just so we kinda of know, cause there isn't a whole lot of real estate here on these new Jeeps with that giant screen. And with the other Jeep, it was no problem cause the screen was a lot smaller and I was able to turn my phone sideways and all of that. But I think for me having it this far away would be a little bit too far for me. So I'm gonna put it right here. There is this kind of little, I guess, slope on the side of our screen and I wanna get it close enough to that. That's not really gonna impede any of our view, but I don't wanna do impede our speedometer either. You can kind of, my steering wheel's a little bit turned, but you can see that it's kind of right there. And I think this is gonna be a really nice spot for it. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna set I hooked in the front here already, and then we're just gonna push until we hear that click. And now everything is nicely in place and we're good to go. You just wanna make sure you clean your surface in the back there, take off that tape so you have that adhesion in the back there and you're good to go. So we're gonna put my phone here in the mount. And I told them which case I had so now driving down the road, we do have it just like this. We're gonna do some driving shots for you guys too. You can see how it does turn side to side a little bit, up and down. If you, wanna, if you have glare or anything, you can turn it. So we're just gonna give you kind of the driving impressions of it and where it is in the vehicle as far as charging and all that goes. And I'm very happy with it so far. This is exactly where I want it. Doesn't impede my steering wheel at all and doesn't impede my gauges or the screen. And being this is my first time playing with this, you can actually turn it sideways if you want to. So you can angle it up, you can angle it down, you can do all kinds of things and you still actually have quite a bit of room. Obviously when it is sideways, you're gonna cover a little bit of your screen and a little bit of it's covered with the steering wheel. But if you had it over there, it would be kind of far away for me, but it'd be really good for the passenger if you did run two of them. 
All right, so our first driving impressions, you can see my phone up there, you can see the screen over there and how our dash looks with our new ProClip USA phone mount. And I'm very, very happy with the positioning of this because it's, it's out of the way, it's out of my hand area for the steering wheel and it's very much at my fingertips as well. So I don't really need to remove my hands from the wheel as if I were to scroll or want to change anything on the phone, it's right there within my field of view. So I don't have to take my eyes really off the road and I'm not looking down at it. Like you see some people they are driving all over the road and they're looking down at their phone because they have to hang on to it as well as try to scroll and do whatever it is they are doing on their phone. But with the ProClip USA, you can just have this at a very good position. And I also have my cord plugged into the bottom and I wrapped it around the top. I don't know if you can see really well how that's plugged in, but it goes down to my USB-C, well, I guess the USB and then up to the USB-C in the bottom of my phone. It comes around the screen and up to the bottom and we're able to charge it and everything works out really well as far as that goes. But positioning wise, very happy with it. Once we stop, I can kind of show you how it works if you want to put it sideways and how much it impedes the screen. If you have maybe a video playing, which you also probably shouldn't be doing while you're driving, but it is something that is possible. Usually when I'm sitting waiting for somebody, I would use this mount for that. I would put on YouTube and just kind of turn the screen sideways and you can have a really nice view of it right there in front of you. All right, so we're in park. Now you can see if I turn my phone this way, this is the view that you have. So you're really not in the way of the steering wheel at all. If you wanna watch YouTube or something like that, it's right there, screen's right there. It's, like I said, a really good position for this phone with the way that this dash is laid out. You don't have, I know some of the other mounts use little arms that come out of things. This is, for me, all you have is this up here on the dash and it's very easy to install. You don't have to remove anything from the factory and it puts your phone exactly where I want it to be. And you, like I said before, you also have the option of running two of these if you want one for your passenger's phone as well. And I don't think it gets much better than that for the 24 Wrangler. <laughs> There it is everybody, the brand new ProClip USA phone mount for the new Jeep Wranglers 24 and up. If you guys wanna get yours, check out the link in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.